progress is being made. I just got back from Home Depot, bought two sheets of pegboard. Those were $20 a piece. And then I had to get some more wood so I can build the other side of the shelf. So we already got one side built and then I went ahead and got my vase installed. I put another piece of wood underneath it to reinforce it. And we got that installed and then we're we have this up for sale I got that cleaned up and this is for sale we hung one of the lights so basically we're going to repeat it go that way hang the second board there and then run a secondary light and then also we will move in and we're gonna throw away a bunch of this plastic stuff and try to work our way into it and then Hopefully we can even get back there because I even removed that back there. What a mess. But as you can see, I got that back corner cleared out too. And I'm debating on whether or not if that wood shelf should come out. But all of this along here is going to come out. Um, these are going to be pulled out. They'll probably be put back, but in a different fashion. And as you can see, we are almost completed on this project over here uh, I just have to finish reinforcing this really quick I added in a bottom shelf that's going to hold my power tools as you can see I put a couple of them already down there um, I'm sure the layout of this will change quite a bit but I just kind of started to put things on there I got to start getting some of this cleaned up and thinned out uh, so I can make my way that way but I'm done for the night, so we'll pick it up tomorrow. All right, so I just returned back from Harbor Freight and I got a couple of things. Two 50 piece of pegboard accessories. Um, electrical power strip and a 10 foot power cord. So that way we can finish stringing up the lights and get all that together. All right, LED lights. It's kind of like a strip deal, but the best thing about them is, is they have holes to put the screws at. And uh, what we're going to do is I just installed the shelving underneath here. And I would like to put these lights underneath here, run it that way and then go that way. And then check this out. Since my power source is way up there to get it out of the way, it is remote control. Isn't that awesome? And it controls everything. Both, everything's on two power strips, there and there. And then when I get more equipment and more machinery and stuff, we'll put in more stuff. And then we're gonna bring our main table out here and put a six foot table back in there. All right. So I installed the LED light and I'll turn it off so that way you guys can see it. And what's real cool is that uh, there's a track. You see the, the track that runs down the length of the wood? The LEDs fit perfectly in that track. The LEDs fit perfectly in that track right there. And I got it all the way around. Uh, it's a little dusty and dirty. Um, we're still trying to get everything why does that look crooked i guess because it is crooked
so I have it broken down the table. Maybe now I will be able to take it outside. You know, it's a lot of work. I have to take all this apart, take the door off. Um, hopefully I can get it out. I'll probably have to take all these hinges off so I don't scrape nothing on the way out. Okay, back to work. Look, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is so I can have uh, three different types of Molex interfaces, including a fan head. Um, I put a power supply here just just for testing and little things, not major. And then I built that up there. It's pretty cool. When it lights up, it's blue and it looks real cool and stuff. So I'll have all that hooked up. But that is not why I am doing all so, okay, so check this out. The shelves, right? Hold on, let's go over here. These, this, these two shelves, this, this, and probably this too. Okay, and all that, all that gone, right? We're just gonna wipe it out, gone. And then over on this side, like where those two um, silver shelves are, they are gonna go here all right and this stuff's just going to be taken out i'm thinking about putting that actually over there in that corner so uh, i don't know and we're going to get a um we're also working on my room too my room's coming apart my computer room it's being my computer room's completely being taken apart right now i mean it's we uh we have two six foot tables in there and I'm going to take one of the six foot tables and put it right there because that is going to be there in the center. It's going to be part of like my work area and stuff. So I'm trying to convert all of this. So, all right, back to work. Starting to get a trash pile put together. Got some trash there. And then we got some things here. And of course, we're going to end up in there and start cleaning that out. But I want to show you what I've been doing to the room. I have to take that desk out. Now, my desk is pertained to two separate things. It's two six foot tables that I basically framed into one another and secured all right let me get in here and shut the door so see how this is the table and then here's the wood so you can see where I framed it in kind of like this one here I, I framed in the the desks or the the tables to give them this appearance I just got done disconnecting everything so the table is loose and free I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this out I I don't know if I'm gonna have to take it completely apart to get it out or if I can get it out with this stuff. Either way, the top hatch is coming off because this is going in the studio. This is gonna be my new table that we're gonna use for the channel. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I think we're gonna remove the door from the hinge after.